What's up, guys? Philip Blair, Torch of Christ Ministries. Today, I want to talk to you about some things that you can expect while out open air preaching on the street, throughout your city, wherever you might be. Uh, please bear with me. I have a crazy migraine headache right now, so it's hard for me to talk, uh, but I'm going to do my best. So someone messaged me or emailed me here recently saying that they tried open air preaching for the first time uh, at a drag queen event and uh, one of their friends or a friend of a friend held a protest at this drag queen event and nobody showed up so they tried open air preaching to support uh, what was going on and he felt a lot of fear and um, didn't get persecuted but he was very aware and worried about persecution or being attacked and he was also worried about being on the news or having some type of negative publicity against him uh, and how to he, he wanted to know how he can combat that those feelings or those fears or whatever i just want to tell you today that um if you are going to go out and preach the gospel on the street and you're going to do it in a biblical way you're going to have negative things happen towards you it is the name of the game it is part of the process um I have almost zero positive news articles written about me, and I have a slew of negative news articles. Ones that are untrue, completely untrue. They take something and they twist it and distort it, manipulate it and pervert it completely. It's part of it, man. The world will lie about what we're doing and our, our motivations and even what our words are, what we're saying. Um, I've had multiple news articles where they twist what I say or change what I say completely to mean something that will spark public outrage. This is part of it. The Bible says, blessed are you when people speak evil against you, they revile you, they come against you in whatever way. We're blessed. We're supposed to take joy in suffering. We're supposed to rejoice and... Um, you know, be thankful that we're able to share in that cup of suffering with Jesus Christ. It's only a small portion. It's just part of the process. Go out. If you're going to preach, preach by the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't preach through your flesh. Don't preach through your own inspiration. Don't do it in your own strength. Uh, you, it's not something you can will out of nowhere. You have to preach with the power of God. Now, it's possible if you're a good public speaker to go out there and to speak ideas and to have not a lot of Holy Spirit power behind it. Um, but that's definitely not what we should be doing. It's not anything that we're going to recommend. We need to go out with the power of God. We need good brothers and sisters behind us. And... Um, yeah, we need to be out in force. The more of us that we can get on the streets together at one time, the better. And we need to go in love. We need to go in mercy and gentleness and kindness. But also, we need to be fierce. We need to be, um, you know, we need to be ready to, to take on the enemy head on. So, be in prayer. Fast and pray. And study your word. Study the word of God. Know what his word is. Go out and use the word of God. Uh, to support your ideas and to support biblical teaching and counsel as you go out and preach. Preach against what you see in the world. Preach against uh, the sin that is running rampant in our society and, and call it for what it is. But also understand that we have to focus not just on the problem or the uh, not just on the, the situation and the problem. The situation is we're in a fallen world, uh, broken in sin. The problem is that we are cursed in our sinful flesh. Uh, but the solution is, if we call upon the name of Jesus, we can be saved. And uh, he, he breaks the power of that sinful curse. And uh, he gives us freedom. He gives us new life. We are born again through the Spirit of God. And so that is the good news. It's the solution. We need to preach the good news. There's too many people out in the world preaching the problem and the situation. And they're preaching everything that's going to send you to hell. But they don't spend enough time on the solution and the answer, which is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, King of glory. He is, uh, he is alive and he, he will put his power inside of you and change everything about you. There's transformation in Jesus. So let's focus on that. That's the most important thing. God bless you. I hope this helps. Pray for my headache in Jesus' name.